What's going on YouTube? Stealing likes soon you guys have caught me once again handing cookie jar out here trying to snatch me some likes. Today bringing a double randomizer, which already feels like I'm going into the double. Someone just DC'd on me. It seemed accidental, so you know, no big deal. But I am going to first give you guys the numbers because I thought I just did that but realized I'm not bringing you that one. So it's 26, 31, 24, 19, 21, and 3. That came out wrong. 26, 31, 24, 19, 21, and 3, which turns into Gourgeist Diggers, Vijolteon, Kabu Tops, Tornadus, and Ninetales. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit the challenge button. I do like and don't like this team all at once. I know that sounds crazy, but there are so many parts of this team that I like, and then so many parts that are really painful. Now, my opponent from Japan, going to bring uh, Quagsire, Scizor, Garchomp. Porygon, Talonflame, and Venusaur. Now, that Talonflame's coming, and I know it's coming. There is not a question in my mind as to whether or not that Talonflame shows up. So there's that. Hmm. Tornadus is going to have to come, just, just because of Talonflame. Because it's the only thing here that's going to want to live the hits. Now... In addition to Tornadus, mm, I mean, it's just so difficult. It's so difficult to figure this one out. Scizor's probably not coming. Because Scizor, well, between Scizor and Venusaur, it's either Mega Venusaur or Mega Garchomp. I have to bring Tornadus. I'm going to bring Ninetales. And that Quagsire. That Quagsire needs Grass-type things. I have to bring Gourgeist. It's going to get off a neutral against it. Uh, against the uh, Garchomp. Not to mention, I mean, the Pain Split's not the worst thing on the planet. Priority Shadow Sneak is also not the worst thing on the planet. Now, the question is who to lead with. Who do I feel like you're leading with? You're not going to lead with Quagsire, so I'm not leading Gourgeist. You might lead with the Talonflame. You might lead with the Talonflame, and that would be all bad news. So, I'm going to lead with Ninetales. And the whole idea here is that if that Talonflame comes as the lead... I'm literally going to swap out into my Tornadus, take the hit so that the Brave Bird deals it a little bit of damage, and then hope for the best, I guess, as, I mean, switching, I, I could do multiple switches, and it does feel like a very painstaking task, but it's something I might really just have to do. So, out comes Ninetales, out comes Garchomp. Garchomp is the first Pokemon out for them. Not the worst lead for me. Not the worst. Because I'm going to switch out into Tornadus. And avoid this imminent EQ. I mean, there is no way they don't Earthquake my face off. So I have to just get off the ground. Oh, they went for the Stone Edge predicting the switch. That is going to kill. That's going to kill. That's all bad. So, Gourgeist is going to have to come in. Oh my goodness, Gourgeist, you've got to put in some work, as this is going to be a long, tough battle. I frisk it, I find the Choice Scarf. It is stuck on Stone Edge if it sticks around. So, with that in mind, I'm going to Trick or Treat. I don't see them sticking around. They do withdraw. So the twicker, Trick or Treat is going to at least add a Ghost Weakness to whatever's coming in. It's Venusaur. That is not that good. <laughs> that could have been much better. As Venusaur, I mean, I know it's packing some Poison Stab. I know it's doing things I don't like. I am going to go for the Shadow Sneak still. He withdraws. Immediately withdraws. So does not want to see me... Toss down a Priority Shadow Sneak. Okay, so this thing is going to frisk me and find my Spooky Plate. Now, obviously not ideal for me, as now they know I am going for the ghostly things. But I feel like another Switch is coming. I do. I feel another Switch, but I'm going to Bullet Seed. I'm going to go for the Bullet Seed. I'm going to find out just how well this Porygon handles. Oh, that is terrible. That is just all bad. So, I do get two hits. I get three hits. Do I get four? Nope, I get three. So, average number of hits. The Ice Beam will kill. The Ice Beam is going to take me out of my misery. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, well, this Porygon is about to be very upset with me as a Paint Split. 
because I am faster. Now, it's not going to put me at a range where I live, unfortunately. I mean, this thing should take me out without a problem. It does. I'm down to nine tails. I don't see nine tails setting up a sweep. Uh, I don't see nine tails setting up a sweep at all. Now they know I'm not carrying heat rock, which is interesting. They might be slightly concerned. I doubt it. I doubt they're concerned due to the fact that nine tails is packing not a lot of things that they're afraid of. Now I see the switch in the Garchomp coming. I do. I see it coming. I see it being a thing. Because I'm sure they don't want to lose this Porygon. Mm, this Porygon probably takes special hits better than physical now that I think about it. So, do I just go for the Flamethrower? Because the Scarf Chomp, whenever it comes back in, is going to lock in and murder. I'm going to go for the Solar Beam. Just anticipating the switch. It does not happen. So, I mean, I'm going to get a good amount of damage off. However, this was not ideal. So the Solar Beam... Huh, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is going to be the end of me as I cannot outspeed that Garchomp ever at this point. At this point, it's not happening. So he's going to have to let me take him down probably with if I live. Because I already know an attack's coming. I am going to go for the Stab Flamethrower here. Because I do have to at least... My pride won't let me go down without a kill. He withdraws. He withdraws and goes into Garchomp. I know he withdraws and goes into Garchomp. So, I'm fully paralyzed. It didn't matter what I did. Now, I mean, I'm going to go for the, the very futile Solar Beam. As the Earthquake will be an ending to this match and leave me with a 3-0. Bad taste in my mouth. Just terrible. Ugh. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So... That one ends off in a way I could not want. Man, did not think about the T-Wave there. As the T-Wave, it was a thing. And the flamethrower would have made it not a thing. Maybe I outsped. They may, they probably knew the answer to whether or not I would outsped a Scarf Chomp. I don't know. I would almost have to calculate it. So I'll be back in just a minute with another video. So please stand by. Already hit the challenge button. Waiting to see what we can get going down in this one. They did tally a win for me on that DC. I feel terrible whenever I get wins by a disconnection. However, it's been the first one since the ranking reset, or the rating reset. So, not all that worried about it. Get another opponent from Japan. They do have a higher rating than I. And they also have Arcanine, Latios, Raikou, Egg Slash, Sukiyun, and Venusaur. So, right off the bat, part of me really wants to bring Gourgeist. Part of me doesn't expect Latios. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't know how I feel about any of this one. I don't really expect Aegislash. Okay, so Sukune. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Part of me really wants to bring... <sighs> Diggersby, Nine Tails. Diggersby, Nine Tails, who else? Who else is packing a problem for these things? Jolteon. Diggersby, Nine Tails, Jolteon. Leading Jolteon, then going Diggersby, Nine Tails. This is really what I think is the best team I could possibly come in with. Oh my goodness, uh, it's all bad, it's all bad, it's all bad, it's all bad. I do wish I could have packed, oh wow, I picked before my opponent. Note that one YouTube, as that just happened. They're probably going through and trying to figure out what I was going to bring. I mean, the Jolteon lead seems almost too obvious, due to the fact that it is incredibly fast, especially compared to the rest of my team. I think the second speediest Pokemon would be Ninetales, who is obviously coming. Aegislash is here. Aegislash decided to join the party. Now, if I had to guess, I would say Aegislash is going for King Shield. That would be my guess. That would be my exact guess. However, 
I am still going to go for the Shadow Ball. I am going to at least get a little damage off here. As... I mean, if it sticks around, if it can shield, all it does is it finds out that I'm carrying Shadow Ball. That's nothing amazing, new, or incredibly more threatening than they could have thought. The Stance Change and Priority Shadow Sneak me. Did, did they just do that? They just did that. Oh! Oh, that's beautiful. That is a dead Aegislash. So, the Shadow Ball is going to go down. It's going to kill. As Aegislash has nothing for health. Or health, sorry. Aegislash has nothing for defense in the sword form. So, one Pokemon down. I'm going to lose quite a bit of life to my Life Orb there. It's very important as if I can one-shot whatever comes out next. My Jolteon's going to die the following turn. I already see that coming. So, out pops Venusaur. Now, Venusaur, it is a problem. I mean, I'm not going to underplay this at all. Venusaur's a problem. I know Venusaur's a problem. They know Venusaur's a problem. I'm still... I'm thinking about just going straight for the Shadow Ball. I'm going to go straight for the Shadow Ball because this Jolteon is about as good as dead and switching into Ninetales gives him a perfect opportunity to beat me in the face. Now let's see how specially bulky this particular Venusaur is. As I am interested in just how well it takes that, it's a crit. So, packing the Earthquake... Hmm. My only real option here is to go into Ninetales. I do realize... <clears throat> sorry. I do realize that the Thick Fat is a thing here. However, I'm going to burn it. I know it doesn't have Chlorophyll. They've now revealed this to me. As the Mega Evolution makes that impossible. The Flamethrower just has to happen. It has to. So, that... I mean, it should still be a kill. No, no, neutrality makes that not a kill at all. They sleep powder me. Oh, that is terrible. So, mmm, mmm, that's bad. That is so bad. So, I'm going to go for the flamethrower. I mean, all I can do is hope to wake up. I am fast asleep. This thing may very well be capable of getting a kill off on me. Yeah, there's a sword stance. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. Now, my real question in the back of my mind is, can Diggers be outspeed? If Diggers be can outspeed, I can at least kill this Venusaur. Because the bounce will kill it. I wake up! Oh, I wake up! Oh my god! Oh my god, I woke up! That is a shocking moment. I didn't expect it at all. I mean, I had to leave the Ninetales in because switching out... Just to leave a sleeping Pokemon in the wings is a bad, bad time. So, out pops Latios. Now, Latios would particularly not enjoy a Hex. It's the best thing I've got for it. So, I am going to go for the Hex. It outspeeds, and it's probably going to get a kill right there. Oh, it does not. It does not get a kill. The Hex, however, does a lot of damage. Now, hmm. Hex. Going for another Hex. This is one of those moments where I wish I had remembered what I said earlier <laughs> in the video whenever I went over the fact that I wanted to keep Jolteon around for this very moment. But, going into Diggersby, my huge power poke... Now, this Diggersby, it might pack something here. It might pack a, a Shocker or two. <sighs> Dragon Psychic, I am going to go for the Priority Quick Attack <laughs> with Stab. I know it's not a lot of power. Oh, wow, my Quick Claw went off. I didn't even need the Quick Attack. But I'm going to take it. I'm going to see how well it does. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. Now, do I live? I don't think I do. I live it! I live it. This is a dead Latios. Diggersby coming through. Diggersby bringing the heat right there. That is what Diggersby does. That's beautiful. I can't do anything but be happy with that. First kill ever on the channel with Diggersby. Oh my god. That was, that was clutch. That was needed. Really happy about that one. So, I hope you all enjoyed that as... I'm not going to lie, 
I was terrified at the end of that one. Now, just a reminder, make sure in the comment section below that you drop a comment stating which six of my Pokemon are your favorites, because I am bringing them as a giveaway prize to one person. All you have to do to enter is just enter your six favorite Pokemon in the comment section below on any of my videos where I state this. I will count it on videos where it was posted before today, so don't worry if you posted it on like a random video to just kind of troll me. I will still count it before today. But I am really looking forward to bringing you that Wonder Trade. I'm going to set up an image of the winners on Friday whenever I tally them. I'll, fr I'll tally them Friday at midnight, my time, which is uh, Central Standard. In addition to that, don't forget to drop a comment below. Bring a like so that we can bring Wonder Trade Wednesday next week. I would love to do that. I'm probably going to bring a new Wonder Trade team as well. And keep an eye on the channel as I am bringing a lot of new content. I'm bringing a lot of different content. I've got a lot of ideas, especially from the Social Saturday we did last week. Thank you all for coming out to that. I just, I can't thank you all enough. I'm not going to get sappy on you, though. You guys have a nice night. I will see you tomorrow.